Hello and welcome to this session on how administrators can configure customized policies for specific groups of devices in a tenant. But first, let's do a quick recap of the key concepts. As you will remember from a previous session, the most important feature that's introduced with Capture Client 3.5 is that called as Scope. Scope also introduces hierarchy of how policies are inherited from tenants to groups. Inheritance differs on policy types and when groups are created. Policies are automatically inherited from the tenant. With the introduction of Scope, policies are mapped differently now. In Capture Client 3.1, custom policies had to be manually assigned to groups and default policy was available as a catch-all. A typical workflow in Capture Client 3.1 is executed by creating static or dynamic group, creating multiple policies and mapping the policies to the groups. If an endpoint matched multiple groups and hence policies, it was assigned to the policy that took higher priority. Let us now take a look on how policies can be customized for targeted endpoints in a tenant using groups in Capture Client 3.5. When we log into Capture Client in specific tenant scope, we can review and create groups by navigating to the groups page under assets. Here we see that two groups are already created, one static and one dynamic for demonstration purposes. Also, note the groups now have rank. Group ranks replace policy priorities to determine which policy is applied to an endpoint that matches multiple groups. When we review the threat protection policy for tenant and the groups under it, notice that inheritance is enabled on both groups for this specific policy. If you remember, inheritance is configurable for each policy type. Let us now disable inheritance on the dynamic group to customize its policy. Note the warning message that indicates parent policy changes will not be enforced. When we modify the policy at the tenant scope, we will see the change propagates to the scope of the static group but does not propagate to the scope of dynamic group. This is because inheritance is disabled here. That way, even if default tenant policy is modified, the group can retain its own policy. Let's now look at exclusions and remember that both exclusions and blacklists are automatically inherited. So when we create a path based exclusion for specific file or folder at a tenant level, the groups within the tenant will inherit the new exclusion. This is because if an exclusion is created at a tenant level, the intent is always to have it propagated to all the groups, else it will be created at the group level. We hope that was useful. Do stay and review other sessions. We will have to talk about how Capture Client 3.5 will significantly improve the user experience of managing endpoint security.